said we would continue on with the little building uh, that we'd scratch built in the first very, very first episode, but I'm waiting for some some lights and some other uh, items to come along so we can customize that building. So I thought today we would look at glue, probably one of the biggest used uh, products by all modelers. And we're going to glue extruded polystyrene, the, the blue stuff or pink stuff that most of us use for the basis of our, our uh, layouts. Uh, some glues eat this stuff. Some glues actually work really well with this stuff. So I've got 10 different types of glue here. The first one we're going to look at is the MEK from, uh, that I use for styrene. And I'm going to show you exactly what it does to a piece of styrene. It eats a massive hole in the styrene and it keeps bubbling until it's all evaporated. Uh, so obviously this is not a kind of glue that you want to use for any kind of foam. I imagine that any kind of styrofoam or, or extruded polystyrene is going to react exactly the same way. And so we are going to put the cap on this thing and put it aside. So, what do we got here? Well, I've got super glue, I've got a contact cement, I've got Gorilla wood glue, I've got a Aline's tacky glue, I've got Gorilla glue spray adhesive, the original Gorilla glue, this needs water in order for it to work. I have another tacky glue, uh, I think it's actually the same one, but we'll, we'll use it as a separate item. I have a glue used for the headliners of cars. Now this is the one I use when I'm gluing my foam together. It is an amazing piece of uh, technology. You spray it on both. Let it dry, give it another coat, stick it together, and God, you just can't get it apart. It's, uh, it's a great glue. I've got some Mod Podge. This is the matte medium. And then I've got the standard good old wood glue. So what we're going to do here is we're going to glue the 10 pieces of foam that I've got here, actually it's 20 pieces of foam, and we're going to let them dry overnight, all of them. And then uh, tomorrow, we'll try and break them apart and see what happens. Like I said, this, uh, this channel is kind of tutorials and experiments, and this would go uh, into the realm of an, an experiment. So we'll talk about the glues. And we'll get started here. Now you can see that that's now dug quite a significant hole in the styrofoam. And it's sticky. Right? So we're not going to use this kind of glue on styrofoam. So let's switch back here. So we're going to start with CA. And since I've already ruined this piece with the... Uh, the MEK, I'm going to uh, put some super glue on this and then I'm going to uh, find some weights around here somewhere. I've got a bunch over there. I've got a bunch of bags of uh, uh, grout and stuff. Okay, so here we go. So right away, this is not eating the foam. At least it doesn't appear to be. And we're going to overlap these so that I can uh, like a wrench on them and uh, to try and break them apart. All right, so we got here, we got super glue or CA. Let's just call it CA. 
No clamps. Seems to be holding okay. I'll just reach down here and get some activator. And we'll just, for a second here. Now sometimes the activator eats this stuff. But it seems to be, yeah, it's made it, ooh, it's made a little, ooh, it really is eating it. So using activator may not be the best thing in the world. I didn't think it would do that. Now maybe standard uh, activator would, uh, wouldn't help, wouldn't eat the foam. But this is uh, the activator for, uh, what many people use call uh, miter bonds. It's used by carpenters for a uh, trim. And uh, I use it all the time, but I'm not using it on a foam anymore, that's for sure. All right. Now, some of these, we're going to go ahead and put the glue on, but the glue's got to dry before we can use it. So the next one is straight old good contact cement. Two more pieces of foam and let's put on some glue. The contact cement has to be put on ooh. So you put it on here and then put it on here. And this seems to be eating the, uh, yeah, it is. It is definitely eating the foam. Now we've got to let that, that dry before we can do anything with it. So we're just going to set that apart. Set it over here. Make sure they don't touch. That's a no-no. That's and we'll get rid of this can. So where did I put, what did I do there? I, uh, oh yeah, first one was super glue. So I'm just going to set these over here out of the way and we'll see what happens here I'm not hopeful that this is going to work it really is eating the foam yeah so this is Gorilla Glue wood glue indoor outdoor use use type water resistant and uh We'll see what it says here. It says we've got to clamp it for 20 to 30 minutes. So having it clamped overnight should be okay. Now let's just take a look in case. I haven't I haven't used this yet, so I don't know if there's a nope, there is not a cover there. Whoop. I was I don't think you're supposed to pull the whole thing off. So Oh, wait a minute. Maybe you are supposed to put something on. Okay, where's my little pair of pliers? There they are. Well, all those fells, take a knife to it. It's all clogged up with glue. I wonder it wouldn't work. Well, I've got... I thought I had somewhere on this table of mine. Okay, let me get a pair of tweezers shit. We're going to clean that up. Well, I've been sitting around for a little while, so... go. I have to drop this in the container of water here so the glue doesn't dry on that pair of tweezers. That would be a good thing. All right, let's put the cap back on and see if we can get this thing to 
glue. Oh, there we go. And we'll just, uh, I got some scrap, scrap styrene here. We'll just spread it out. Now this has to clamp it. So off camera here, I have some clamps. I'm really not hopeful with that contact cement. It looks like there's no way that's going to stick. So put the glue pieces together, grab a clamp. And squeeze. Oh, that one's done. So that's another one that's, uh, it says 20 minutes, but we're going to let all of these dry for overnight because it's just not, uh, it's just not worth it. So that one's done. Put that down there. All right. Now, the next one is also Gorilla Glue. But it works a little bit differently. One surface gets the glue. Grin. I'm going to grab where did I put all those little scraps in there? Oh, there they are. And I'm going to spread this around. Now, this glue, glue on one surface, water on the other, and you better clamp this stuff because it expands as it it dries so oh. don't have running water down here uh, it was never intended to be a living space so just nothing so I got a brush in the water water on the foam and stick it. And once more, grab a clamp. And squeeze. And take my marker and go, we'll just go go. This was G wood, gorilla wood. So we have gorilla wood, wood here in this hand, and this one is the water base. Like I said, this stuff expands as it dries, so you got to clamp it. Yeah, if you don't, you it will not it will not stick together properly. All right, we'll cap that. Now this looks to be exactly the same glue. One in a small bottle, all-purpose adhesive, quick drying, fast tacky. I don't see anything here that says that it needs to be uh, be clamped, but we'll just double check. No, it just says press together. So this is tacky glue. 
I think we'll just do the one. Oh, no problem. Both say original, both say America's favorite. Most, most do. So this is tacky. So. Been very fortunate in the last uh, 10 years to work for both Lowe's and Home Hardware here in Canada. One of the things about both these places is every time they change their signage, they throw away the old signage. And that signage is usually made of some kind of styrene. So I have had the great fortune to be able to get lots of styrene for free. Now, even though that didn't say clamp, I'm going to clamp because I really do believe that's what you got to do. You got to clamp these stuff, this kind of stuff. Otherwise, it's, it's, it's just not going to bond properly. On the layout, what I do is I put weights. I've got, uh, we built this house, uh, let's see now, nine years ago, eight years ago. And... Um, we have leftover floor tiles, we have leftover bags of grout and sand and all sorts of materials. And I, uh, uh, I just put weights on stuff instead of uh, clamping because it's not possible to clamp. So now we have the two spray adhesives. Heavy duty. Instructions are quite clear. Shake the can, hold six to eight. For maximum bond strength sprays, both surfaces to be joined, allowed to dry, to tack, approximately a minute, and press the surfaces firmly together. So here we go. This is G or right so here we go again quite simple I'm gonna I'm just moving it away I don't want to get glue on the camera or glue on the desk so there's one side done the other side done I can't tell whether it's eating it or not it looks like it is eating the surface so we're going to wait till that's tacky. And that's the adhesive from, a spray adhesive from uh, Gorilla Glue. The next one, this one here, uh, you can get it on uh, Amazon, both in Canada and the U.S. Uh, Permatic. Uh, heavy duty spray adhesive. It's usually used for spraying the, the headliner of a car. Uh, and Adam Savage again was one of the people who got me onto this stuff. I know it works and I know it doesn't eat the foam because I've used it before. Well, let's see what we've got here. Okay, that's tacky, that's tacky. Let's go you know, stick them together. It did eat the foam. So I don't know I don't know how strong a bond this will be because there's little gaps in air pockets and stuff. All right, another one hits the floor here. Now my favorite. And uh, I've got several cans of this stuff. And it's, uh, so we're just going to help it purr. Matic. So, now I usually do two coats of this. 
again. I'm going to spread a little bit away from the camera so we don't. Comes out in a very uh, wide spray pattern, so it covers quickly. All right. Okay, that's still wet. All right in. Does eat the foam a bit, but for the most part, no. It's uh, okay, so we're gonna just do that one more time because I will spray twice. That's probably good. That's good. That's tacky. Okay, so we just got uh, Mod Podge and wood glue to go. I'm just going to turn the wood glue upside down because this is not a full bottle. And we'll do the Mod Podge first while this one sort of drains to the tip. Okay, so there's the Permadex. Another one hits the floor. And now, Mod Podge. Now, I don't typically use Mod Podge for this because for me, Mod Podge is more of a model finishing uh product for things like water and scenery and stuff. I use it mostly for that. Well, we've got a little bit of a gross thing here going. So just put that over here out of the way. And I've got some so so here we go. My, I think I'll have to run and get a clamp. I think I'm out of clamps here. Just give me a sec. I'll just put this on, give it a little. Like I said, I usually use this for scenery work and not for, for gluing things together. Definitely doesn't eat the foam. Now, I got a clamp sitting over here reach where I got to go and get something else oh, I, got, I got one here well, there's my podge there's that marker of mine so, all right. Like I say, usually used for scenery, not so much for gluing extruded polystyrene down to your uh, your baseboards or on 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 your layout. But since I've got it here, we'll give it a shot, and let's see what happens. And the last one is. What glue? Usually, I only use this when I'm building the layout's wooden structures. I always like to put the glue on both surfaces, 
make sure you spread it out. Don't just put it down as a bead. That's going to be a could lead, especially if you can't clamp, could lead to an uneven surface because of the bumps from where the, the bead of glue is. And last one. So we will do this. And we'll put wood on here. And I'm going to have to go get a clamp because I know this stuff needs it. All right. Give me a sec. Just have to run, run over to my woodworking area. And Let's use a small one. ready to go. Well, I don't think I have any PVA glue but I'm just gonna go and check because I might have a large container of PVA glue. And I do have a bottle of PVA glue, a big thing. And since we have one piece of foam left, we might as well try it. So uh, it's white glue, household repairs, hobbies, crafts, school projects, non-toxic. Again, I usually use this for <coughs> Now this stuff has been sitting around for a long time and it looks like it has separated. In fact, I'm sure it's separated. So we'll see what happens. It's the problem with buying stuff in bulk. It, uh, you don't use it right away. There is a good chance it'll go bad on you. All right. Okay, now, do I have anything to clamp this with? Because it's going to need clamping. Yeah, let's see what we got. We got something over here. I'm going to have to take this uh, PVA and uh, turn the bottle upside down and see if I can get it to uh, go back to being one, one solid kind of glue. All right. So I have no high hopes for this working at all. But there it is clamped. I'll take that marker again and just put uh, PVA on there. But like I say, I'm going to have to take this Turn it upside down somewhere. Make sure that's solidly closed. We don't want a gallon of white glue all over the place. 
and we're going to turn this upside down. All right, so we've been through the 10 glues. And what we're going to do now is call it quits for the day. And uh, tomorrow morning, bright and early, I will uh, bring all of them back up on the desk and we'll try and break them. See which ones stick, which ones don't, which ones have definitely eaten through. And uh, <laughs> that one definitely is not going to work. There's nothing there. And if I'm right, I think it was this stuff. Just give it a spritz again, see what happens. Now it's not even coming out of the can properly. from that little bit that's hit it there it was definitely this stuff and I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that can because it's pretty well not useful to me at all but yeah that is right there eating into this thing you can tell it is really into the foam so well uh, pretty well already know that Gorilla Goose spray adhesive is not meant for this stuff so Until tomorrow morning, I'll see you, and uh, we'll go through all of these and figure out which ones work. Welcome back. It's been uh, 24 hours. The glue has all set up, and now we're going to try and break things. So we're going to start and work our way across, see which, which ones hold and which ones don't. Talk a little bit about more, more about glue once we've broken as much as we can. And then we'll call it quits for this episode. So here we go. So Gorilla Glue, the original Gorilla Glue, uh, that expands when it uh, sets up. Just take a look here. You can see how that's expanded as it came that set up. So let's see what happens. All right, so the uh, foam breaks before the glue. So that's a good one. So grow glue good. Normal wood glue, carpenter's wood glue. Well, that breaks really easily. It does stick a bit. It's actually still a little tacky here after 24 hours, but obviously wood glue is not not going to do it for us. This is the spray glue from Gorilla, and as I thought, absolutely nothing. It has uh, it has eaten away at the foam, uh, and uh, there's no so far, so far, we have just one that's worked. These two are out of the game. Next one, CA. Super glue. And it too ate the, ate the foam and didn't stick. So we're we're out we're out for that one. Mod Podge. And it too didn't stick. So my touch is is gone. Perverdex. As I said before, this stuff. <laughs> well, we've got a we got two winners so far.
Eileen's tacky glue. And that didn't work either. Gorilla wood glue. Nope, well, that one worked. My lens is out of here, it didn't work. So that's Gorilla Wood Glue. Now this is the PVA that I thought had separated in the bottle. And either separation or the glue itself just doesn't, doesn't want to stick. Right. There's one missing, you'll notice. I haven't got uh, the contact cement up here. And that's because the contact cement made a real mess of the foam. So our winners are the original Gorilla Glue, the one that needs water, Herdex, and Gorilla Wood Glue. Those three managed to stick foam quite well. Now, some of you are probably saying, but there are other glues that you can use on foam. And that's right, there are. There's no more nails. PO300, which is designed to be used with foam. And then PL construction adhesive. Now, all of these are work really well. They're great. The only problem I have with them is when you've got pieces glued together and you try and take a hot wire brush uh, cutter, or hot wire cutter, try and cut through the foam, they it really stops the cutter from cutting. The cutter has a really hard time getting through that glue. So that's why I use these other ones. So like I say, here we are. We've got original. Herbidex and wood glue. These three are the ones that work the best. Um, yesterday I talked about getting things for free from stores where I had worked. But this is the kind of thing I was, I was getting for free. This is a piece of poly, uh, uh, suited polystyrene. It was underneath a flat or lift of uh, the boards that people buy. This is how they, keep, how, how they allow a forklift to go underneath and pick up the whole lift. And these just get thrown out. So I have probably 20 of these, <laughs> which will allow me to do a lot of scenery uh, for free. Little hills, mountains, things like that. I have this. Cuts beautifully on a table saw. And that's how I usually cut it because it's, it's, uh, that's the easiest way to cut it. They're all about four foot long. About uh, three inches, four inches by three inches in, uh, in size. So once again, here are the, the winners for the glue. And uh, we'll call it quits for the day. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one when hopefully I have the lights and things for that little building and we can go ahead and uh, make it uh, a finished product with uh, lights. I'm even thinking of, of putting sound in it. Uh, there's uh, some little devices that will uh, record sound and uh, keep them on a chip and then just press a button and they play. So I was, I'm, I'm looking at, at doing that. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.